all right guys welcome to the channel back at it again um getting ready for streetcar takeover charlotte it's condensed right now it's thursday so we're kind of getting prepped up for that uh if you guys make it down there say hey to me whatever if you watch the channel or not but uh Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool event. Went to it last year, got rained out. So we just went to the Dino Poles at Twin Peaks. They're having them again this year. Friday well, it was like five or six o'clock. You can show up down there at Twin Peaks. They're gonna have like a car show, meet and greet. <clears throat> um, Dino Poles last year we kind of got there a little bit late. I had to work, but uh, this year I ain't got to work tonight. So that's awesome. Um, I usually work night shift, so you know that's kind of how it works. I got tomorrow off, man. Now. But uh, we got some last minute things we're doing. Um, I noticed when I got back in today from running errands in town, we got package. That's always good, right? Because I'm expecting, I'm guessing this is a helmet. Because we went last week, if you've seen the video, I rented a helmet. Rented a helmet, it was like 30 bucks. I wish I would have taped it. Maybe this week when I go down there for testing too, and I'll kind of show you guys. But you can go to Z-Max, it's like 50 bucks, bring your helmet back, they give you 20 bucks back. So it's like 30 bucks for the night. And they had a stack of freaking paperwork, like a, like a stack of, you keep your ID, and it was like an inch or inch and a half. The guy was making a killing renting some helmets. They're nice though. They weren't like greasy, nasty. What you guys think about renting a helmet, like when you were a kid, you went to the go-kart track and they're like this dirty, nasty, whatever, like bowling shoes, you know, just not the deal. They give you like a head condom, you've seen the video. That's what we called it. Um, they're actually really nice. But I picked up a helmet here. We're going to do unboxing. Um, biggest thing they want at the track is going to be snail rated 2010 or newer. Uh, last week I contacted them about uh, <clears throat> the rules. They sent me the rules. It said SFI certified. And that is the snail foundation. Not SFI like clutch or flywheel or car parts. <laughs> so... When you Google that, you won't find nothing, but when you look up snail, it will be uh, information there. I think how it works is they give you two generations of certifications. So right now it's 2010 and 2015's out. So they're good till 2010. Or 2010 is still usable. As soon as say like 2020 comes out, then the 2010 won't be usable. So keep that in mind. But uh, you know, tech stuff, safety stuff is always number one. The real reason that they do that at the Z-Max track is because they are NHA, an NHRA track, they told me, and all their events have to kind of meet that standard uh, in order to be on the list for a track for the big guys. Even though it's a small event, that's what they have to do. Uh, so, you know, if you run a 10 I'm hoping to get this, maybe this weekend I'll get the guy to kind of tell us a little bit more about it, but pretty much what he told me was anything faster than 10 got to have a cage. didn't have to be a spec cage, it just had to be a cage. Uh, there was some things, you know, that were just... A little bit different um something about uh, a diaper for the car in case it oils in the car or the track um stuff like that can save you a lot of money long term he says like 150 bucks for a diaper if you have a problem but um we're not really we're not that fast at all anyways so we're kind of just got uh the car behind me it's got upper pulley lid spacer with nice and nitrous spacer i ain't got it hooked up uh tune crappy or colder intake which i got a bigger intake to put on it when i get time um e85 drag radials upper i think i said upper pulley already it's like a 238 or 235 it's like a small upper pulley it ain't got a whole lot i mean not a whole lot to make power full exhaust headers and all that stuff but not i mean it did all right got a picture looking the description looking you know my previous stuff and you'll see diamond picture of it not trying to hide nothing i don't grudge race I got a CDL license. I really can't be doing all that stuff and getting a ticket, so I don't do it. That's just one guaranteed way of keeping your job and not getting uh, getting in a, in a bind. So let's uh, open up the package here so I can get you guys set up. Table is a mess, uh, like most people's tables if you work in a shop. Kind of how things go. Let's grab a screwdriver. Move this out of the way. Let's polish in some wheels. So, um, let me get this thing kind of aimed up a little bit and talk to you. So, pretty much, this is the, a snail to that's supposed to be. We'll see. Snail 2008. 
um, certified helmet. Not the cheapest one you can get on Amazon, but it's the next closest thing. Um, I wanted extra large because honestly, flat black was not um, not stock. Could have got white, but the track I was an extra large, so we'll see how that works out with this helmet here. I think it was like 189 bucks. So got a bag, which is cool. Feels like it's got foam in it. So they got bags inside out because that's like the seam. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's kind of like a seam. Oh yeah, there was foam in there. I could feel it. It's really light, like surprisingly crazy light. And looks pretty nice. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, take you over here because I was just thinking you had, to hel had to have a helmet because it was SFI, which I didn't know what that meant. I'm used to car parts, but so we had this helmet here, which is a nice helmet. Ain't been used a whole lot. It's like still a great helmet. It's a Simpson. So we had that choices of helmets and they said nope because of the age, even though it's brand new. Uh, and that was before, that one's pretty old, so it's before like the Snell Foundation stuff came came and got real popular. It's Simpson. Uh, that helmet was used like 2001 or so Arca series. So like, you know, 200 plus mile an hour, we were running a, my dad was running their Waltrip Super Speedway car, and um, it passed off the tech there, but bring it to 2018, obviously it's out of date. So, which is which is fine. I mean, like anything, the safety standards change because of accidents, and that's most likely why they had those issues. And then here's my bike helmet that I rode for years with. Um, it's an old, it's an old, like we use it for AC riding, I used to ride the motorcycle, all that. It's actually an R1 helmet that you got with uh, with an R1 when you bought it new. And then I blacked it all out with some chalkboard paint back in the day. I've had a lot of fun in that helmet. Here's the new helmet. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's got the chin, the bottom there, chin duckbill, whatever you want to call it thing. It's got tear-offs. So you can put tear-offs if you want. Um, I mean, a lot of people complain about the interior of it, but it looks really like, looks good to me. I guess let's test fit this thing on. Let's test fit her on and see if we're going to be disappointed with that deal. Because I don't, don't know quite know. Instructions. But, uh, hope all you had a good 4th of July, by the way, man. It was hot, but really good. So... Where the flip's at to flip this thing up. Gotta grab it in the side. Kind of interesting. You gotta grab it there to pop it up. That's the hold, the snap. It is what it is. Yeah, it's not too bad. A little loose. But if you put a fire sock underneath it, it'd probably be really good. Um, I mean, I'll make it work for sure. It's not super loose. So I really like to have my cheeks. They're pushed up. You can see they're pushed in, but you like to have them really tight, in my opinion. But pretty nice. For the money, can't complain. That's for sure. It's like 189 Amazon. Like I said, renting it every, uh, every time you go to the track kind of sucks. So... 30 bucks a time is great first time we don't know but second and third time there's really no reason not to, to buy a helmet so um yeah that's about it anyways uh, gonna do some got the computer out laptops in the car 
work on transmission tune, third and fourth shifts kind of crap. It's taking like point, point 0.9 seconds to freaking shift. Which ain't good. I got some, uh, did some own, it's a mix of my tuner's tune with some stuff I've changed. So we're about to go for a run here in a bit. I'm gonna flash it and let's see what it does. And then um, it's Friday night, we're gonna be down at the track, testing, trying to get dialed into 11, uh, 12 O class. Car runs 11 8. We're gonna try to pull some timing out and see if we can't run a 12 O consistently, uh, just to see if we can have some fun there. But uh, come down and see us, we'll be on there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. See you guys out at ZMAX tomorrow. Thanks for watching.